new ways of being church in this digital milieu. A reflection on numbers 8 to 10. This pastoral letter is trying to grapple with the changes, the rapid changes in the technology. But it's also trying to understand through this grappling, how do we present a pastoral plan that takes into account these changes that have happened? And the changes not in just in the type of technology, but the changes in what that means for the type of church we need to become. And so as you reflect on this pastoral letter, I invite you to think of how you have changed when you have changed your technology. Over the last five years, technology has changed dramatically. How has that changed the way you have communicated? And how has that changed the way you have interacted with different media? Do you use email the same way today that you did five years ago? Did you use your, your phone the same way today as you did five years ago? As you reflect on these changes, the change that it has brought to you, now what change has it brought to the church? And if it has brought a change to the way people communicate generally, does the church need to change its methods of communicating? That's the heart of our pastoral reflection. And having understood that, then we must understand that these rapid changes that we celebrate have brought a new way of being church a new way of thinking and a new way of understanding what it is to be church in this new millennium. Now, that means that our pastoral plan today is going to be different from how it was before. Because if we keep doing the same things that we've always been doing, then we're not going to communicate effectively to the people of this generation. And that's what we're getting at within this pastoral reflection. If there is this rapid change, if we are communicating differently, then we need to have a conversion of heart to this new way of being church. We have to change the way we communicate. We have to change the way that we reach out to other people. And in, in saying that is to say that we have to explore all the means of communications. But more than that, these means of communication have brought about a, a form of networking and collaboration that we've not had before. And so this possibility of networking, the possibility of, of collaboration is what is at the very heart of this revolution. And that's essential to the kind of church that we will become. Reflect with us, continue along, enjoy your e-seminar, and let's build church together.